a few days ago I worked on a turbo circuit which allows me to bypass the 72 volt controller and kick over to uh, 96 volts directly from the batteries. Uh, that seemed to work pretty well. I got the car up to 60 miles per hour, but I didn't have any speed control and I have some concerns about accidentally frying my controller. So I'm not going to mess with that anymore without uh, some diodes and different things on there. Um, also, I took out the back seat and the uh, interior body panels on the car to take a look at what it would take to put in um, uh, a box for four more batteries in the back. Here's the two reversing contactors that drop the controller out of the circuit and add the two batteries for the turbo mode. So here you can see the uh, two extra batteries that are just sitting in the, uh, the floor of the passenger seat. Also here I have a switch which is uh, rigged up. This is a high voltage momentary on switch. And that engages the coils on the reversing contactors to turn them on and off. Sorry, this is as wide as my lens goes. But here you can see the uh, four batteries mounted in the back of the car, along with the charger. And now I also have a Anderson connector in place on there as a uh, battery main disconnect. You can see that I have stripped out the interior body panels, um, so that way I have access to all the wiring and none of the plastic is in the way. Here the entire back seat has been taken out. So you can see in the back here are uh, the two seat belt bolts, here and here. Um, this is a fairly solid point right here. Um, directly underneath it, that's kind of the, the bulkhead um, that's going to be a support point for doing a battery box in here. And then in the front as well, uh, this front edge here is also a uh, sort of an extra sturdy point. So my idea is to cut out this area here in general to be able to add four more batteries similar to that only sunk down into the frame of the car. That way I'll be able to have four batteries in the way back, uh, also sunken down in, four batteries here, that gets me to eight, and then in the front of the car I'd like to have four more up there as well. Now I know you can't see, see it real well from here, but uh, there are two batteries uh, installed in the front of the car, one here and one here. Uh, those batteries are about 7 inches by 13 inches, and the thing is, if I turn them sideways and I have four of them across, that comes to 28 inches, which will exactly fit between the headlight buckets. And then it's 13 inches long, which basically comes from the front straight back to the uh, motor and transmission. So by just turning these two batteries, I should be able to fit four of them in front total, have four in the front, four in the middle, four in the back for 12 batteries. You might also notice that it's raining right now and yet I have the car plugged in. Um, it's no problem to plug in an electric car in the rain. Um, it's got a water resistant connector uh, where it plugs in there and then on the other end in the garage is a 20 amp GFI protected circuit so even if uh, some water got in there the GFI would uh, kick in and, and turn it off. Uh, but here you see the power cord. And then I've got that coming over here up to my kilowatt and it's uh, it's done charging so right now um, the kilowatt is measuring 12 watts uh, just because it's only the trickle charger for the 12 volt system that is uh, running the uh, main, main battery bank is all charged up and then here you can see the uh, this is a 20 amp circuit and it's got a built-in GFI